When we use a CalMAR flash unit, it has a communication cable. This communication cable constantly tells the press what's happening. This means we can control the flash from the interface or we can control the flash from here. On the front, we have the physical settings. The power is from one to 10, the intensity of the heat that comes out. When on 10, we have a constant flash. When on anything less, we have a pulsing flash. Seven would be a good setting for polyester. So it's not harsh, the medium wave bulbs are attacking their ink and not their material. Here we have the display where we flow from temperature, if it's an option, down to time. Most option is time. We have the function. The function button scrolls between manual, where instructions are given from this area only, and all instructions from the press are ignored. Automatic. There are no instructions from the front panel. All the instructions are from the control, from the machine, from the press. If we want to test, we need to be in manual. When in manual, we press the test button. This cycles whatever is set time here. We have the option to turn on or off certain sections. And we can see, we can highlight either just the middle. We can highlight just the left. or all three. This is power level seven. On power level three, you can see it's a faint pulse. It's not an intense heat. Perfect for heat sensitive fabrics. 100% cotton is usually power level 10. A common mistake is to leave the, pre the, the flash in manual mode and start the press. In this instance, the flash will ignore all instructions from the press and the shirts will not dry. So we must make sure we are in automatic. When in automatic, we can make a flash cycle happen by using the print cycle button. The print cycle button here will initiate the flash for the amount of time that is programmed into the tablet. When using time, we must ensure that the time set on the front panel of the flash is higher than the time programmed on the tablet. This ensures that if the tablet says flash for five seconds, there is six seconds available. So it cuts off with one second left. It is impossible to flash for six seconds when only five seconds are set on the main board here because only five are available and we can't have six out of five. When programming the flash, we look for the small connector in the middle. If we get this connector, this means we have connected a smart flash. This smart flash will now communicate with the press. If we don't see the communicating plug here, then we have an external flash from another manufacturer where we can't control the flash from here. When we can control the flash from here, we highlight the flash, we have the options. We can dynamically change the time while the press is running, no need to stop, no need to run around. The internal and external buttons are exactly that. Where is the signal coming from? Internally, from a smart flash. Externally, not from a smart flash. From a, a third party. We can make a dry cycle happen from here. We also have the third menu for settings. This dictates when will the flash come on? Will the flash come on at the end of the index? The start of the index? Or when the screen drops down? We can easily change this. Start dryer at index starts. Yes, I want to start the timer when the index starts. Start dryer at index end. Yes, when the shirt arrives under the flash, that's when I want you to start counting. 
start dryer at screen down. Wait until the shirt arrives. Wait for any squeegees to come to the front. When the, all of the screens drop, then start counting. The default setting for cotton shirts would be start dryer at index end. Lift while dry. If we have a five second flash and a double stroke, if the first double stroke is finished within two seconds, then the machine will wait to do the second stroke until the flash is extinguished. With lift while dry ticked, the machine will not wait for the flash, but will allow a second double hit while the flash is still flashing.